What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Deportivo's Rebirth. We've had some decent progress in the games away. I've changed the formation. I know I probably shouldn't have, but it's worked. So uh, let's just get into what you've missed since you've been gone. We've gone back to our winning ways. It's kind of nice. We got three wins on the bounce of having a ton of draws and losses. We lost to Rio, you saw that. Bruno Enrique got on the board for us, which was nice, but we uh, clearly were not good enough to beat them, so I changed from narrow to more of a wide formation, and we went to Sporting Gijon, and we beat them 3-1. I don't know how. They scored first. Guerrero scored the first goal, and then Brozovic scored two goals, and Lucas scored, and... I was trying to figure out where the hell all that form was in the last, like, what, one, two, three, seven, eight games? Where'd all those come from? I don't know. We then beat Betis 2-1, which was nice. Enrique scored. Um, again, Betis scored first. There's kind of a pattern here. Betis scored first. Jorge Molina. Then uh, Bruno Enrique and Lucas both scored. Bruno right before halftime, and Lucas got a penalty at halftime, right after halftime. So, hooray. 2-1 win. We then lost to Espanol. And yeah, they played with 10 men. And yeah, Dagoberto scored again. I don't know. No matter what we did, they just literally, they got one guy sent off, they just pulled everybody back. It's like we couldn't do anything. I was so frustrated. Then we went to Granada and won. Faisal scored in the 82nd minute. Like, holy shit. Granada, for some reason, has always been a bogey team for me in FM. Like, the we played them... At the beginning of the season, we drew nil-nil, and this took forever for us to break them down. We were, like, crushing them, and it just took forever to finally score. Look at everybody's... But mine is, like, Fede and Oriol, like, and I guess Bruno, but everybody else had, like, great ratings. I don't know. Today, we are away at the San Mames against Athletic Bilbao, and I feel like we're going to lose this one just because it's a live con. We're going to probably play counterattack because they're way better than us. But let's get straight into the game. Let's go to the San Mames and hopefully get at least a point. Yeah, here we go. We don't have match stats. There they are. Now I feel better. So you see, we went to a, a 4-2-3-1. They're also playing a 4-2-3-1. We're playing counter-attacking, and we're going to see how this goes. I'm, to be honest, if we get a draw, that'd be lovely. <sighs> We're keeping possession. Nothing's really happened for both teams, which is nice, I mean, to be honest with you. I'd rather nothing happen in this game. It'd be very boring for you, and for that I would apologize, but I really just want a point. <laughs> All right. Yuri Faisal. Again, not a natural winger, but he has the stats for it, so he's being trained there. Lucas, Bruno, ah, Iraithoff. I think that's how that's spelled. It's Mikel San Jose. That's a good one. Gorka Iraithoff, yeah. Goal, free kick for him to San Jose. Gurupegi, he's on a yellow, which is good. Rico, Aduriz, can't get there, and Lux can just pick it up. That's a highlight for some reason. He puts it down. Cartavia to Ibai Gomez. Oh, Balenciaga, that's a great name. Raso Munain. I feel like we're going to lose. Oh, God. Okay, Arribas gets it out of the way. Unai Lopez. We're going to get crushed if we keep letting them cross. Yep. Oh, crap. No standard. That's all, it's like, that's all we concede to is freaking crosses. That back post cross. Classic, classic by you. I mean, it's a nice goal, but like, that's all we concede to. Frickin' crosses. Arribas to Emerson. We, you notice Emerson's starting today. Um, Sydney's been very bad the last couple games. So we have Emerson playing a little bit. Lucas, Bruno, Enrique. He's tightly marked. There's no way he's getting anything out of this. Lucas, all right! I think this is the first time Lucas has actually scored on fucking camera. Lucas Perez with the goal. Because I think that's his 10th of the season. But we are at 1-1. One, one. 
I would not have thought that he would have held up the ball like that to cross it. Lucas, not really tall, gets up, gets the pff, gets the header. All right. It's fucking go. Lucas hoofs it. Enrique doesn't bring it down, but Mosquera does. Lucas, Bruno Enrique, Cartabia. As always, Fede is he's not as good as he was in the beginning of the when the game first came out. When the game first came out, I did a uh, beta save with him, and he was just a monster. He's not that good this after the updates and everything. Brozovic. Faisal. Oh, Gorka saves it. I'm not trying to say Iraithoff every single goddamn time. Lucas. Emerson. Lopez saves it off the line. Oh, my God. Mosquera to Yuri. Nada. All right. Well, Faisal's not having a great game. Juan, we've like after putting it to standard, we've really come into this game. Enrique Faisal at the back post. Is he onside? He is. Two one. Yes. Finally. God, we're actually winning on a live com. This is amazing. Now that I've said that, we're gonna lose like four to two. Faisal, what a pass by Bruno. Bruno's been really good this game. I kind of gave him like a little bit of a push, like, "Hey, you're not doing that good." And he's like, "Yes, I am." I'm like. All right, then. He has two assists. This is great. Oh, my goodness. Going into halftime, this is amazing right now. We've done very well. Look at those stats. Oh, my God. Passionately say you're great. Capable of even better. Nobody cares. <laughs> Give him the faith. Give him the faith talk. Make everybody happy. Extremely delighted is Faisal. Very happy with your effort in the final third. Really? Nothing? He's done really well. Yeah, as you can see. He's awkward, but pff, he scored a goal. Who cares? Uh, in terms of performance, Fit has brought his little performance back, and the back line's doing okay, so we're just going to get straight into the second half. Uh, unless, you know what, really quick. I want to see where Bilbao's crosses are coming from. They've had three completed crosses, all from the right side, so all from their right side, so our left back. So Yuri's getting a little... All of their crosses are coming from... Yuri's side? Really? That's actually interesting. Uh, Yuri's on a 7. I kind of want to pull Faisal back a little bit. Or maybe put Yuri on defense? They haven't done anything on this side, which is kind of interesting. Maybe Emerson, maybe Arribas and Mosquera are like pulling stuff off of this side and Brozovic isn't really getting back fast enough. We're going to leave it the way it is. We're gonna we're gonna be risky and see what happens. Hmm, that's interesting to note though. Their crosses are all coming from the same side, so they're really putting the pressure on Yuri. Lukes hoofs it. Why is Lucas up front? I was almost about to say ah, that's probably why Yuri's really coming forward a little bit more. You can see like Yuri's up here. We have Juan Fran down here. Lucas, another one. Oh my God, we're tearing Bilbao apart. This is amazing. Last episode was called Salt. This one might as well be called Sugar or something sweet. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Enrique's all of a sudden become this masterful target holdup man, which is insane. Sabine and Gorka Elusondo have come on. They've took San Jose off. That's interesting. I don't want to take Enrique off. He has a yellow. Mmm. I mean, but God, he has three assists. It's absurd. I don't know if I want to take an uh, Mosquera's kind of tired. All right, we're gonna make some, and Lucas is like dead. Does Lucas? Lucas has two. He's on a hat trick. I don't want to take him off. What we're gonna do is bring Juan Dominguez on for Mosquera. We're going to bring Luis Alberto on for Faisal. And we're going to leave the back line alone. We could bring Laure on for Juan Fran, but I think we're okay on that side. Oh, this is beautiful. Luke's. I kind of want to put it on defensive, but... Ooh, Bruno's... Oh, good Peggy's off. Oh, it's a penalty. It was outside of the box, but okay. Lucas, our first hat trick. If he scores his hat trick, he's coming off. And he scores! Lucas Perez with the Hattie. Oh my goodness. 
we are going to oh whew, that was a beauty oh my god all right we're going to take lucas off really fast we're going to move luis alberto into the center we're going to bring cani on there oh this is the best game ever this is the probably the best we've ever been who would have thunk we go wide all of a sudden everything works out jesus christ oh enrique has a damaged foot that's not good keep him on i'll probably take him off <laughs> Actually, I don't think I can now. Kani, Brozovic, Luis Alberto, and Eric's not going to get there. Juanfran, we've played incredibly today. Luis Alberto, he scores too. Oh my god, we're destroying. Oh, he was offside. Damn. How? Oh, so close. But yeah, he is off. Oh my goodness. Even if they score another goal, I won't be upset. Lecu, Dominguez. We have played amazingly today. Holy shit. Brozovic. Kani. Brozovic again. Back to Kani. Into Bruno. He's probably hit it off his damaged foot, which is probably not a good idea. I probably should have took him off. Giraithos. I can't believe we beat Bilbao like this. This is amazing. Sergio Rico, Unai Lopez, Aduriz. Arribas just went through him, got the yellow card. He's suspended for the next match. Great. So Sydney is gonna have a. Sydney is gonna play the next match. Then that's fantastic, which means we'll lose it. Benyat to Sergio Rico, Sabin Dominguez just takes it away. This is fantastic. They're playing so well. This is crazy. Adriz scores. I mean. It's a nice build-up play. I'm not gonna. It's four-two. Um, I'll take it. I'll take a four-two win. Rico Cani holds it up to Yuri Brozovic, Bruno Enrique. I'm curious how he got that yellow card. Cani Brozovic again. Ah, uh, Gurpegi, Turiz, Juan Fran. We got this. Ah, oh, what a win! He can't continue. Well, he's off anyway, so it's fine. Oh my God! Passionately say. I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. Oh my god, Lucas with a hat trick. Bruno Enrique with four assists. Holy shnikes. Puts us up to 12th. And we have still have some game. We have like a game in hand. Barca has so many games in hand, I don't get. A uh, little update. Madrid are in 8th. Eh. But yeah, we're in 12th now. We have a game in hand on most of the teams above us. So we could logistically get up to ninth, which would be amazing. Kind of get as much space <laughs> from the bottom as possible. Uh, Betis also beat Espanol, so they got out of the relegation zone. So we have a seven point difference between there, which is nice. Holy crap, that's amazing. Man, this is really good. Holy shit. So I already thought about it um, a couple days ago. And we're going to do Las Palmas next, because that splits it evenly with that and the end of the league, pretty much. So we're going to do Las Palmas, and then the last episode of the season will be against Real Madrid, which makes sense. So we'll have a nice chunk of games. We will miss the away leg. You guys will miss the away leg at Celta Vigo, and we have a Barca at Leti double there, which is going to suck. Uh, but we have Malaga and Levante. They should be winnable games. Celta will be tough. Las Palmas are bottom of the league, so that should be another live com one, which would be great. We have a really rough run, so we need to get as many points as possible. Jesus. Oh, man. Finally, a decent run of form. I love it. If you've enjoyed this, drop hit the like button. Drop a like on the video. Hit the like button. Share it. Twitter, yada yada. The whole shebang that I throw at the end of Pocket Talks is normal. Twitter's Peter Pocket Games, blah, blah, blah. That's how you find out if I stream on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash adampita. Might as well cheap plug all of my crap, right? Why not? Drop a like. Uh, I have nothing else to say. We'll see you next time against Las Palmas. It's a home game, so we'll be out of Thor. I'll catch you guys next time.